There's a lot of talk going on about El Nino, so we're here to set you straight. Hey, I'm Mike Janela for 8012, and it goes a lot further than just saying it's Spanish for the Nino. El Nino's an irregular weather phenomenon from the Pacific Ocean that affects the whole world with some of its biggest impact on US winters. Every couple of years, the winds over the Pacific change their patterns naturally. The water in the Central Pacific then gets warmer, which causes a huge weather domino effect around the globe. What does it mean for us? An El Nino year usually means warmer and less harsh winters across the country, plus a lot of rain for California, the South, and the East Coast. I know what you're thinking, warm winter sounds great, Cali needs the rain, why should I be worried about El Nino this year? Well, does someone at NASA calling it the Godzilla of El Ninos get your attention? It's expected to be one of, if not the, strongest El Ninos ever, thanks to Pacific waters being the hottest they've ever been this time of year. It should definitely be the strongest since the mega El Nino of 97-98. That January and February were the warmest and wettest Jan Feb in recorded US history. So that's the bar Godzilla El Nino could surpass. It's not all good with El Ninos though. California needs the rain to help this drought they've been in for years, yeah, but an El Nino this big could cause flooding, overrun, and landslides. The 1998 El Nino caused thousands of landslides and $200 million in damage, and that was just around San Francisco. In the US though, if things break right, El Nino can also be an economic boon. Because it fights droughts, benefits warm weather crops, and keeps tornadoes and hurricanes down, this El Nino is expected to give the US economy about a $90 billion boost, according to the International Monetary Fund. Here's hoping the best for you West Coasters, so you can enjoy this El Nino winter with the rest of us. Stay dry from 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. We'd love to hear more from you, so subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and leave a comment. Like, let us know how much wood would woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood.